This is Coyote News. Yankton's hosting the World Archery Championships this week. Coyote News' Marissa Brunkhorst gives an inside look at what goes into an international competition. Yankton, South Dakota is home to the National Field Archery Headquarters and houses the largest archery center in the world. The town hosted the World Archery Championships this past week where archers from around the world competed from gold, silver, and bronze medals. Previously, in 2018, the facility hosted the World Indoor Championships. Archers and fans gathered to watch the men's and women's compound finals. Archer Matthias Fullerton of Denmark finished just shy of bronze in a shootout against Estonian Robin Jotma. Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands took home silver, with Nico Wiener taking home gold for Austria. The wind was blowing up to 15 miles per hour, raising the stakes higher for archers in this competition. The World Archery Competition here in Yankton, South Dakota is featuring a variety of presentations and events showing off South Dakota's culture. Marketing and Communications Director for the Association, Casey Haberman, told Coyote News about the inspiration for the event. We created a festival surrounding the park. Ten, ten, That's ten. kind of for two purposes. One, um, to entertain the athletes and the folks that are here for the actual tournament um, and provide a glimpse into the culture and history of our area and our region. Um, but then also to create a festival that will bring the community power. down to the park so that they come and check out all the archery gentlemen. and everything down here. The festival featured many food vendors and historical presentations along with live music for visitors. The competition finished up this past Sunday. For Coyote News, I'm Marissa Brunkhorst. Thanks, Marissa. This was the first time the competition was held in the United States in 52 years when the Valley Forge Championships took place in 1969. The Archery World Cup is currently taking place in Yankton today and tomorrow.